I look quite pretty. <laughs> no, I love you, Karen Knightley. I love you. You're amazing. Don't hate me. I am the biggest Ben Affleck fan, by the way. I love that man. How could I forget Jiggly? I'm a fake fan. Hi guys, I'm Truth with Chandran and I'm going to be testing my rom-com knowledge with Cosme. In any other setting, I would be like, yeah, I'm gonna smash it, top 1% in rom-com knowledge. But now that I'm on the spot, I don't know. I really hope I do well, because I would say rom-coms are my favorite films and they're definitely what I watch most. So let's see how I do. But I can't remember the name of the song. And it was like a TikTok trend. You're so vain. You're so vain. Okay, so there was one where they, he was a villain and she was in it. And Shul Pachetti's in it too. But I'm gonna count that because it wasn't like wrong ones, it was ones are in. So that's one. Dil Vale. Um, my name is Khan. Kabi Kushi Kabi Hum. Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. They've been in one recently, but I can't remember the name with Varun Dhawan as well. It doesn't count if Kajol makes like a cameo. I'm gonna say it doesn't count. If they make a cameo in each other's videos. Because she's in the song for Om Shanti Om, so... But she's just in the song. Um, I feel so badly. Ugh. Men and women can never be friends. Because one of them will like the other. My favorite rom-com is When Harry Met Sally because I think the writing is so sharp and so good. The chemistry between the two leads is insane. And I think it kind of feels really revolutionary to me. Like the conversations that they're having, the topics they discuss. I, I've never seen that in a film prior to When Harry Met Sally. Darcy. What's he Grant's character's name? All I can think of is Fitzherbert. Fitzherbert. But that's obviously not Hugh Grant. Oh my goodness, I'm writing on this ball. What's his name in it? William? Oh my god, it's Daniel Cleaver! Oh, I got it wrong. Oh my god, of course it's Daniel Cleaver! He's, and he's so good in that. He's so good in that. So my favourite line delivery of Daniel Cleaver's, it was actually improv. Um, on Hugh Grant's part, which is when they're like making out and she's obviously got the Spanx on underneath and it was a big debate about whether to wear the sexy undies or the Spanx. And, um, you know, he's lifting up the dress and he sees it. And um, yeah, the line delivery in that scene is amazing. She's a professor of economics at Columbia. <laughs> got that one. Oh no, 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 it's Columbia. I think it's Columbia. I think it's Columbia. The guy, I don't remember the names, but the guy who um, was her almost sister's boyfriend, he was really sweet. I wish we saw more of him. Noah's character. <laughs> Could you come from the new? But, the, you know, her boyfriend for most of it. The beautiful boy that, um, like, is a musician. And they, they, like, meet again in the old people's home where they both volunteer. Just can't remember the name. Uh, and the other two, is it one guy from camp? And then the fifth one, is it, like, a fan letter? Like, a famous person? Paris. Harris. I love Bridesmaids, oh my goodness. What a, what a reset on the rom-com genre. I would never think of Bridesmaids as a rom-com, but. Oh my goodness, okay. The Wedding Planner. Made in Manhattan. Monster-in-law. Just Married, like the new one with Owen Lawson. Oh my goodness, Destination Wedding, is that one? But with Josh Dumal, Dumal. Um, the one where she gets pregnant. She gets artificially inseminated. Is that the name of the film? What to expect? I know what happens. I know the actor in it as well, opposite her. And she ends up having ginger kids. See? I've seen it. Jiggly with Ben Affleck. And if I am the biggest Ben Affleck fan, by the way. I love that man. How could I forget Jiggly? Asking him to love me. Oh, obviously, no, <laughs> love me too, but yes, yes. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Is this a trick question? Because isn't it pie? <laughs> it's pie, yeah. Rhubarb, apple, pumpkin, cherry, apple. Oh my God, but not too bad. Yeah, I hate, I love Keira Knightley, but I hate her character in love actually for many reasons, but especially in that scene for that stupid hat and the banoffee. Actually, no, I like banoffee. I'm just being good because I didn't get it right. 
They look quite pretty. <laughs> no, I love you, Karen Knightley. I love you. You're amazing. Don't hate me. So I've only seen 500 Days of Summer once, as opposed to like 300 times I've seen When Harry and Sally. It's sort of in the back of my head, I'm thinking like a music shop, but a pet shop also feels like very romantic. A bookshop, oh my God. A bookshop is like the classic rom-com meet cute hangout, right? I, I just don't have any Oh my God, I don't know. But I know like, from my perspective, she's on the left side, he's on the right side, and the director's mum is in the middle. She's the one that goes on how much she's having. I don't know. I'm a fake fan. Like, this, what, what has this taught me? Don't be copy. Stuff like 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I'd say, you know, I think those are really good comparisons for it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.